Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Jazz Punk. Last time we retrieved some guy's organ. We returned back to this very pleasant Japanese pond again. <laughs> Interesting that the way to end all the missions is just to be very serene. Fantastic work. Now I can finally make my steak and kidney pie. Um, your office that is flooded, dog. Seems to have attracted us a bit more heat than usual. We'll have to wait for things to cool down a bit. In the meantime, I'll set you up with a vacation. This chalkboard brought to you by vacation. All expenses paid trip to Kaitak Resorts. Kaitak Resorts. This is my favorite level, I think. Get some more indeed. You look like you can use it. <laughs> United Partitions of Brasilia. Frag Grenade. <laughs> There's a real island called Grenada. I know someone from there. Guy Analog. Gate of Equinor. Pan Panoramia, as opposed to Panama. E Honduras. That's a reference to the Street Fighter character E Honda. Salsa Lessons. Port O Parallel, Bahamas, Mexico, United Prefectures of Japanada. Bad sector. New Frost York. Serial Portugal. Test group. Control group. Higher Volta. Algebra. Morocco. Mediterranean Sea. Ateria. Mummy board. So, <laughs> ISO Malia. Hado Kenya. Congo Line. Nikon Cameroon. Robot Swana. It's a mad, 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 mad gas car. <laughs> Sri Lanka. India Gamia. Pakistan. Iran. Electric Qatar. Industrial. Mechanical Turk, Thermal Greece, Vatican Tomb, Texas to Spain, country formerly known as France, Irewall. Oh, good. Britain has been destroyed. That man just got run over by an airplane. Nether Regions, Germanium, Transistor Sylvania, Stockholm Syndrome, Zorway, USSR, Cosmos, Cmos. Cow, Turbostan, Pakistan, Free Tibet with every purchase. <laughs> Free to me. <laughs> Sorry, that just that hit me. Thai land party. I've never. I haven't had a land party in a while. Siberia. Quad Korea. Nanjing. Formosit. Telecom. The quarantines. <laughs> Ten penal colony. Democratic Republic of Doctor Ro. Beyond. <laughs> Thunderdome and Thunderdome. <laughs> Island of discarded ET cartridges. Fiji film. Polygonesia. The cube trademark. Right. Ball bearing straight. <laughs> Fiji film is a uh, brand of Film producers. God, it's so fucking stupid. Uh, Parabola, Tangentina, Cape Horn, Absolute Zero. All right, I think that's all. Oh, one more. Unallocated space. The Kaitak Resort. I've always loved dotted line gags. Check in reception. Um, Thank you. <laughs> there's your tip. Keep the change, you filthy animal. All right, color buffet, free ARPANET, Quadra TV, wetware bar, and vacancy. Kaitak Motel. Yes, we lord. Love time. Sansom. 
God. You should totally go check out the beach. Oh my god, you should totally go check out the beach. It's like right I over call, there. like everything sick because it's awesome. Lord. See, if I remember correctly, Kaitak Resort's my favorite levels. My favorite level singular, rather. Pardon me, Maul. The Exumer 3000. Crabe. Should really be going crazy right here, huh? To exhume something is to take it up out of the ground. Normally in the case of uh, a grave. Please smoke in this area. This appears to be a sea urchin. That reminds me of uh, the second to last level of KOTOR. Blank Master Vitagon. Ghost in the taco shell. In the year 2025, a cybernetically enhanced taco began the quest the nature of his own existence. A little crabe. You know there's a um, well-known scientific observation mm? of how things keep evolving into crabs. I believe it's called carcinization. And it's because the crab is just such a solid uh, thing that things keep evolving into crabs. <laughs> the wrong kind of turtle, but you've just got the spirit. There's loan sharks out there. I don't see this as The beach is naked with coral. We were pricing it. We look like a fashion detective. I'm a slumber and it's like my hawk. I'm a sea of mackerel. I believe that's Hunter S. Thompson from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I'm a fish this big. I was on guard. You found me. I've been stranded in this desert for months. So stupid. <laughs> huh? Yo, how's it going? Pirate treasure, redundantly speak. Got another stalker. Sweet metal detector. Did you find any cool treasures? Need with a smoking party. My dad is president. Oh my god. 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 Californians, huh? The Exumer 3000, huh? So glad they chlorinated the ocean. All the sea <laughs> creatures were gross. <laughs> the, the implication of the environmental disaster it would be to chlorinate the entire ocean is astounding. <laughs> the madness of it all. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen Fern Loathing in Las Vegas. But I'm led to believe that it's a book and or movie about doing a whole bunch of drugs. Um, which would explain the uh, inference here. Also, I don't think I explained it, but um, the book Through a Scanner Darkly. I don't know if the book's called that, but I think the movie is. Um, it's about a cop who has to go undercover by doing a whole bunch of drugs. Uh, but because the organization he's a part of is so secretive and the drugs so serious, he starts to get confused on what reality he's supposed to be in and what he's actually doing. That was the R&D we needed, I assume. Big ol' Easter Island head. What the hell is happening outside? 
People are tromping around upstairs. Oh, calling out of the water. Well, I can tell you I can't swim. I can absolutely drown. <laughs> Don't worry, bud. I'll get you out of here. Oh my god, help! My boyfriend is drowning in the pool. Uh, he was different. I changed my mind. You can keep him. <laughs> that dude actually just cracked his face. Wee. <laughs> SPF 5000 just isn't strong enough these days. Suntan lotion is so greasy. I just use lard. <laughs> God. Man, I'm very happy and fortunate to live in a <laughs> newspaper printed with Ebola ink. People who read this will probably die. Detour reroutes entire information superhighway. I'm very lucky and fortunate to live in a pool, uh, live in an apartment with a pool. The absolute nerve of printing something with Ebola ink. Uh, ma'am, you... Alright. Well, anyway. My skin is crawling with polygons and you terrify me. Alright, so that's the actual hotel part. That's the bar. Hello, Monopoly men. Hug me, my good Samaritan. I'm taking them crisps of your propensity for performing I don't think that's legible English. I'll come back later, actually. For the inhabitants of these most tropical of crevices. Oh, man, I love this game. Rear pool is under maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, this isn't actually a real fence. You can't, like, land on it but it does stop you from walking through. Interesting. Alright. This is one of my favorite things in this whole game. It's another secret computer. What does it do? Requesting marriage license approved. <laughs> it's well, a wedding quake. To wedding cake. Choose your honeymoon destination. Choose your matrimony. I was born and raised on a random farm. Bop, 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 ba -doop, bop, boop. Have you ever had a good fondue? I'll print your death certificate. The groom, I guess. Fight. <laughs> so, yeah, it's based off of Quake. Prenuptial agreement. Mrs. Doubtfire. So this, by the way, is one of the only parts of the game where you can actually use uh, the God Mode sheet and it'll do anything. Stepped on a wine glass. The scream is ridiculous. <laughs> Married by <laughs> JPD EP <laughs> headshot. Like just the fact that like <laughs> it shows your fake ping too. Like, just the fact that this game could have been a, uh, 
a shooter the whole time and they just chose to not do that. It's so funny to me, you know? Wedding spree. Just the, the nerve of calling it Wedding Quake. And like, also that it's a real, like, artificial cheese, get him. Ooh, that's big damage. <laughs> it just blows you back. <laughs> Prenuptial agreement. <laughs> Truly, just exactly the kind of ridiculous game it wanted to be. Happily ever after. <laughs> oh Lord. Welcome to Wedding Cake. Choose your honeymoon destination. Select ball and chain. Select <laughs> ball and sleep. chain. Let me tell you something. It's all about the giles, ma'am. I hate corporations. I'm Dark Matrix. God, what have we done? I am going to play another round. Pardon me. And like, to wedding cake. Kills to win. Yeah, so you can even change all of these. We'll lower that a little bit. Choose your honeymoon destination. Select matrimony. You gonna go see John Cash Live? I hate corporations. Fight. And like, it's a good use of the assets because like we already had like a, a fugu fish that you squirt. Prenuptial agreement. And it and it like poisons dudes. Vader. Civil Union. <laughs> it's so it's so Welcome ridiculous. What happens if I hit two I've never actually path. tried this. Choose your matrimony. Fight. Oh, it just does awful split screen. What do I do here? Death do us part. Matrimony. Oh god. That's what that's awful. But yeah, just a good like little asset reuse that you can have. Being stuck on these ladders, I notice. Like, they added these things in. They didn't have to do that, you know? Like, 
Some people argue that jazz punk is perfect like it is. And I would agree. This is a really good game. But, like, this shows that if they wanted to, it could have also been a shooter. And, like, one thing about Walking Sims is that... Sorry, I'm usually... For those of you who don't typically watch my LPs... Usually, in Walking Sims, you have a thing of, like... They just have less gameplay things than other games, and sometimes Welcome you end up with like. To wedding cake. Choose your matrimony. And sometimes you end up with things like. Fight. Where it feels as though they've just taken Impressive. gameplay out of a game that could have had it. Like, just for an example here. Champagne. What if they were to take... Oh my god. Cassidy, what if they were to take the, like, shooting out of Doom, and then it was just a... Then it was just, like, a storytelling game, you know? And Doom's a very bad example, because it's very high in terms of... Like in terms of gameplay. Well, like, imagine if, like, Half-Life did that. I love that it has a eye exam on it. And that it's actually impossible to fuck it. Little Sonic the Hedgehog moment. Cufflinks. Cufflinks, of course. Good trade. Welcome to Wedding Cake. But yeah, one could argue that um, Half Life is a game where you could conceivably take. Elementary physics, Polly Blank. Elementary physics. Another dimension of pure madness. I hate the look of this place. Quickly, Polly Blank, into the portal. <laughs> Slippers. Well, at least the atmosphere is breathable. Look over there, that newspaper box. What language is that? The Yi floods, floods entire Earth. Kevin Costner suspected. Uh, a reference to Waterworld, starring Kevin Costner. All right, Maggot. Drop and give me twenty. No. Hey, it's the chief from earlier. Give me five. Give me five. Come on. One. Two, three, four, five. All right, get up. Get the hell out of my face. <laughs> in fact, I will be in your face. A different time, a different it's dimension. It's all just such weird nonsense to me. Come now, into the wormhole thick. This, it's so ridiculous. Oh no, I don't like the look of this dimension. I can't even read this. Society line. reverts to Wild West. Nixon voted local sheriff. <laughs> so, so. 
Yeah, like Half Life Two is a game that I feel like if you took all the shooting out of, it would be a walking simulator. Like, because there is a lot of stuff in that game. And also, I think we can just rejoin the regular world now. Yeah, we could, but we won't. We're gonna go back and play with the bunny slippers some more. Or alternatively, some Honda versus Polly Planka. Again, a reference to Street Fighter E Honda. Fight. Partially reminiscent of uh, Fight Night, a game that I've been meaning to play for the channel. Of course, it isn't out yet. No matter how much I really, really want that game to be out. Got anything else on you? This. You win. Perfect. Perfect. I underestimated your hand punch style. Once more. Elementary physics. Poly Quickly, polyblank into the portal. Slippers. Master polyblank, I find this jumping is becoming far too risky. Another dimension I of pure you know, madness. madness. What language is that? President Cicada declares war on giant spider. Oh, that one. That makes sense. Like, the world is just so weird already. How do you know if you're in a crazy alternate dimension? Look at that newspaper. This place is crazy. I can't Coup d'etat. National Nudist Party declares clothing illegal. On oh, the bad censorship. You can see she has a blood. Oh, Jesus. Have mercy on me. Come now. Time to slip. <laughs> I hate sleeping between you. <laughs> These are most undignified circumstances. The words make She no Stalin declares war on impending meteorite. Now, where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> Like, it's such a. Oh my god! It appears this transdimensional jump has turned our friend here into a pie. Aliens conquer Gandhi land. Give us your peace. A different time, a different dimension. Oh, show's over. All right. Where are we? We are... Oh, we're here. Okay. Honestly, this is a perfectly fine place. Anyway. Because all we're just supposed to be doing is just enjoying the sunshine. So. <laughs> I've been Alfred. This has been Jazz Punk. Um, I hope you've enjoyed another chill episode of a very silly game where nothing makes sense. And nothing has to. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for coming by. See ya.